everybody. Today I've got Charlie and AJ and Captain somewhere here at the playroom. We are going to be here from nine until four, right? We don't have any birthday parties, which hardly ever happens. So that means I got to bring the boys with me today. They're really excited because they want to see the July toy of the month. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's Captain. All right, so it's raining today, which means that it could potentially be a pretty busy day. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you the final product of the July because last time I vlogged, I wasn't loving how it looked and I did update it and fix it. So uh, let's get into the day and I'll show you guys the toys. You like it? I, oh, I don't like it a instant, bit. instantly knocking stuff over. So I added a lot more like decorations. A lot of this stuff I found at Michael's and I think it just draws it all together and makes it look so much cuter. And as you can see, the boys already love it. Mommy, these are the only products that you've ever bought that are supposed to open in real life and they actually do open. I can say that uh, they are liking it, Captain. She looks pretty happy too. All right, boys, I'm gonna get this place ready to get opened, okay? I put my watch on so I don't quite know what time it is, but I think we've got maybe like 10, 15 minutes until we open. I have to take out the trash and vacuum real quick, but I think that's it. And then we will see how many kids we actually have today. I've got a couple of TikToks I need to film. And uh, usually when I have all of these creatures, it's crazy. Did you make? Some s'mores for you, madam. Oh, thank you. Oh, this one is not roasted. That one is roasted. These are some huge s'mores. It's roasted. Oh, you gotta <laughs> flip it inside out. Oh. And then Charlie, what are you doing over there? I'm fishing. Fishing for a rooster? <laughs> a chicken. A chicken. Once you finish and edit it, um, while I'm doing this, make it say AJ struggling to cut wood. Okay. <laughs> When your kids are in the playroom, before the playroom even opens, that means that the children walk into the playroom already slightly played with. Um, this is not a playroom toy. This is a Charlie toy. What you doing, Char Char? I'm just playing. Oh, Charlie, I have a fish, a grasshopper, and a frog. So we're not even open yet, and this playroom is already a mess. And uh, yeah, it's pretty par for the course when you're bringing your kids to the playroom with you. It's now nine o'clock, phone is ringing, people are waiting outside. Oh, I'm missing phone calls. Uh-oh. Well, it's time to open, so let's flip the sign and see how many kids come in today. Yes, ma'am, we have open play from nine until four today. Did you want to make a reservation? No, uh, you do not. And what is your name? And how many children is it for? Okay, all right, I got you done. We'll see you soon. Good morning, Hi. how, how are, are you? you? How are you doing? Good, if you could sign in on the waiver for me, please. Okay. Got one playing today. Yes. Awesome, were you going to do cash your card? And is he turned two yet? Um, no. Perfect, so if you'd like to go into the gated off area with the rainbow, you can. That is our infant area. It's got a huge gate around okay. it, you okay. can't miss yeah. it. Uh, there's just no shoes allowed in that area. So if you okay. do choose to go in there, you'll just have to remove your shoes as well, or you can okay. play in the main area. Outside food and drink is more than welcome, but everything has to stay on the tile, including water. Okay, you're right. good to go in. Okay. Thanks so much. Grandma's Playroom, how may I help you? Something I've never shared before is our cleaning schedule. The toys get cleaned all day, every single day, but these are just additional tasks that we do throughout each day of the week. So today is Saturday, so I'm going to deep clean the bathrooms and I'm gonna deep clean all of the adult chairs, which are all of the chairs on the playroom floor. The playroom gets very messy very quickly and at most of the time throughout the day I am working on it sanitizing and not organizing so that way that the toys are clean and ready to go. That doesn't mean I can necessarily get them to where they should go, but at least they're clean, you know? No, I don't know. It's 11.20 and we've had maybe like 20 kids come in. It has been so super messy all day. So I've been spending most of the time just like hand wiping each toy that I find on the ground. AJ and Charlie are already eating lunch and watching TV. I like to put them back here in the party room during these longer days because it gives them time to like relax and be just the two of them. So they are eating Breadco. Are you guys having a good day today with mommy? Yeah, good. 
It's now 12 o'clock, which means we've been open for three hours and we have four hours left. So I'm gonna go around and show you guys what the playroom looks like right now. And we are gonna see if we can find any of the currently missing toys. I've cleaned up this area as much as we can, but we are currently missing all of the chocolate. And there is one of the worms in here that is missing. But surprisingly, we have everything that is supposed to be in the first aid kit. So this area is uh, not that bad right now. Magnetiles look a little crazy, but I just sprayed them all and I'll stack them up in a minute. Over here is where we have a lot of missing pieces. Right now we are missing the flower in all of these pieces, as well as most of the bumblebees. Our fidget table is a little messy. This is one that I constantly try to pick up and clean. And I can't really tell off the bat if we're missing anything. It looks like maybe some giraffe legs and we just have squids everywhere. It is 1.30 and I think they're going a little crazy. And it's a mess again. What are you doing, AJ? I was able to get that part of the playroom cleaned up, but then this part got messy again. <laughs> Cover your mouth, you have food in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. No food out on the playroom floor. Go over there. Guys, it is 2.15. They're going wild. The entire playroom is empty. So I'll show you how messy it looks. They're going, they're going nuts over here. They are just going wild and out. So we are going to get this place cleaned up. I don't wanna to get too excited though, because if nobody's here by three, we get to close early. And then we get to go home. Every time I get too excited about that, um, somebody shows up. So let me show you the mess real quick. Do you want to show the mess? Who is on the other side? Help me. I'm being tortured. Tortured. Do you want to take the camera around and show them the mess? Mm. So this is the mess over here. Yeah. Crazy. This is the mess over here. That's the only thing. And then more. And me and Charlie had nothing to do with this. Except that kid over there. And then also her. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe she was into it. But also him. I had nothing to do with this. Yes, you dun, did. Dun, dun. <laughs> Truthfully, it's after two. I am beyond exhausted. Running the playroom while they're here is definitely a juggling act that I am still trying to work out. They are either best friends or mortal enemies and fighting constantly. So trying to professionally parent has been something that I'm like working on. So love that I can bring them to work with me, working on how to get them to stop fighting in public. But I am gonna start to get this place cleaned up because if anybody else shows up, I like when they walk into like a clean playroom, whereas right now it is a disaster. So I will keep you guys updated if anybody shows up. Just as I suspected, I got a little too excited and we actually had a bunch more people come in, five kids, which for my business is a lot of kids. So I'm getting very, very tired. It is the end of the day. Charlie's getting exhausted. The boys are wearing thin, but I am always happy for the business, even if I do look exhausted. So that was a little unexpected, but very good for business. And now the place is destroyed once again. So what it's like to own an indoor playroom? It's like Groundhog's Day. You just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. I just get the added benefit of bringing my little munchkins. So now we uh, just gotta clean it up one more time. But that's it guys. That is another day in the life of a playroom owner. What do you guys think? Do you guys like these types of videos? Do you wanna see more day in the lives? What else do you guys wanna see? Let me know down in the comments. If you liked this video, I'd like it. If you gave it a thumbs up and if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I need to get this place cleaned up and take a nap. Um, and don't forget, wash your hands. Bye guys.